Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 2 Lesson 11 homework. So let's get started. Number one, estimate the product. Solve using the standard algorithm. Use the thought bubbles to show your thinking. And draw an error model on a separate sheet of paper if it helps you. Alright, so A, we have 2.42 times 12. So let's start by estimating. 2.42 goes to 2 and 12 goes to 10. So 2 times 10 is 20. 20 is our estimate. Think. So when we're multiplying by decimals, um, sometimes it's hard to know where the decimal point falls. So this lesson, they're telling us to think like 2.42 is actually 242. So times 100, that gets rid of the decimal point, and makes a whole um, number 242. And here in our standard algorithm, um, you can still see the decimal point, but we're just going to ignore it. So we're thinking of it as 242 times 12. So let's look at the 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 2 times 2 is 4. Next um, row, add a 0 at the end. 1 times 2 is 2. Times 4 is 4. Times 2 is 2. And now we add 4, 10, 2,904 would be um, the answer we get when we do 242 times 12. Let's move on over here now. It's telling us to think 2,904 is 100 times too large. So what is the real product? Since we multiplied 2.42 by 100, to get the real product, we can divide by 100 now to find our answer. So divide by 100, that's how they got 29.04. So 2.42 times 12 is 29.04. Now we look at B, 4.13 times 37. Let's see. So think 4.13 times 100 to get rid of the decimal point is 413. And let's also estimate 4.13, that's 4 times 40, which is 16 and add the 0, 160 is our estimate. So now we pretend this 4.13 is actually 413. So let's multiply. 3 times 7 is 21. 1 times 7 is 7, plus 2 is 9. 4 times two, 7 is 28. Add a 0, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 4 is 12. Now let's add. 1 plus 0 is 1. 9 plus 9 is 18. 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 1 is 12. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and 1 is just 1. So 15,281. Now let's move on over here. The think part. So let's say think 5,281 is 100 times too large. That's because we multiplied 4.13 by 100. So now to find our real product, we have to do 15,281 divided by 100. So move two places to the left. So that would be equals 152.81. The answer is 152.81. All right, now for our next page, or two, solve using the standard algorithm. 2.03 times 13. So you write it as it is, but we pretend that the 2.03 is actually 203. And to do that, we get rid of this one point by multiplying by 100. So you can write that on this side. 3 times 3 is 9. 0 times 3 is 0, and 2 times 3 is 6. Add 0, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 2 is 2. Now we add 2,639. Actually, let's get rid of that comma. Since we multiplied by 100 to get 203, now we divide by 100, which we move the decimal point two places to the left. So our answer is 
RMB 53.16. 0.16 times 34. You're writing it like that because to get rid of this as one point, we multiply by 100. So we want to think of it as 5,316. Let's multiply. 6 times 4 is 24. 1 times 4 is 4 plus 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. And 5 times 4 is 20 plus 1 is 21. Add a zero, six times three is 18. Three times one is three plus one is four. Three times three is nine. Five times three is 15. Now we add, that's, nope, two plus four is six. Plus one is seven. One plus nine is 10. Two plus one is three plus five is eight. And one, we just bring it down. All right, so now, since we multiply by 100 before, to get our real answer, we divide by 100, then that will give us 1,807.44. And for C, 371.23 times 53. And we multiply by 100 to get rid of the decimal point and think of it instead as 37, 37,123. Let's look at the three. Three times three is nine. Two times three is six. One times three is three. Seven times three is 21. Three times three is nine plus one is 10. Add a zero. Five times three is 15. Five times two is 10 plus one is 11. Five times one is five plus one is six. Five times seven is 35. And five times three is 15 plus three is 18. Now we add 11, 5, 1 plus 6, 7, 5. Alright, so since we multiply by 100, now we divide by 100, which will give us 19,575.19. And B, 1.57 times 432. We multiply by 100 and think of it as 157. So we ignore the decimal. Let's look at the 2. 7 times 2 is 14. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. 2 times 1 is 1 plus 2. 1 is 3. No, 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 0, 3 times 7, 21. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17. And 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. Now we add a 0, 0. 4 times 7 is 28. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 2 is 22. And 4 times 1 is 4 um, plus 2 is 6. Now we add. Seven. So divide by 100. And that'll give us 678.24. Alright, number three says use the whole number product and place value reasoning to place the decimal point in the second product. Explain how you know. A, it says if 36 times 134 equals 4,824, then 36 times 1.34 so it's basically as if we were doing this first, but then we multiply 1.34 by 100 to get 134. So if we did that, then there's two decimal points here, which means for this answer, we'd also have two decimal points. That'd be 48.24 to divide by 100. And so, and now explain. Say 0.34 is 100 times less than 134. So, 4,824 is 100 times more than the actual answer. Answer. And B, 
If 84 times 2,674 equals 224,616, then 84 times 26.74. So 26.74. So this is ones times thousands, and then now there's hundred thousands. So then like whole times whole equals the whole. So then um we have eighty four eighty four ones times two thousand six hundred seventy four hundreds, their answer would be in hundreds. So divide by a hundred that number. So that decimal point will be here. So our real answer would be two thousand two hundred forty six point one six. And let's see, what can we say? We can say times greater than, can you just say that? All right, see, 19 times 3,211 equals 61,009. Then 321 times 19, 321.1 times 19. Watch out here, they um, flipped it around. Notice how this one, there's only it's only up to the tenths place, which means our actual answer would only go up to the tenths place. That'd be 6,100.9. So, right, 3,211 is 10 times greater. So we divide 61,009 by 10. All right, and number four, a slice of pizza costs $1.57. How much will 27 slices cost? So 1.57 times 27. Again, we ignore the decimal point. 7 times 7 is 49. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 4 is 39. Yeah. 1 times 7 is 7, plus 3 is 10. Add a 0. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. And 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Now we add 4,239, and now we divide by hundreds. Two decimal points here, so two decimal points here. 42.39. So 27 slices will cost $42.39. All right, number five, a spool of ribbon holds 6.75 meters. A craft club buys 21 spools. What's the total cost if the ribbon sells for $2 per meter? Let's, re let's first find out how many meters the craft club bought. 6.75 times 21. Think of it as 675. Five times one is five. 7 times 1 is 7, 6 times 1 is 6. 0, 5 times 2 is 10, or 2 times 7 is um, 14 plus 1 is 15, 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13. Here we add. One, um, 14,175. But then if we put our decimal point in, that's 141.75. But it says for $2 a meter. So there's 141.75 meters. So now we multiply by 2. So we ignore the decimal point for now. 5 times 2 is 10. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1 is 15. 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8. And 1 times 2 is 2. Move the decimal point, two decimal points here, so two here, two, 283.50. So the ribbon 
cost $283.50. $283.50. And B says if the club uses 76.54 meters to complete a project, how much ribbon will be left? So we go back to 141.75. That's how many meters they have right now. So they're using up 76.54. Line up the decimals. 5 minus 4 is 1. 7 minus 5 is 2. 1 minus 6 is 10. 11 minus 6 is 5. 3 minus 7 is 10. 13 minus 7 is 6. Bring the decimal point here for subtraction. So there will be 65.221 meters left. So yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.